I am so excited for today, you have no idea. I have not vlogged in a really long time and this hopefully will make up for it for the reason that I have not been able to vlog. We're moving. I know, we're moving. <laughs> we're so excited, we're so, so excited. Um, I am, I'm just thrilled to be moving to this new house. It's gonna be really good for our family. We're very grateful for this house that we live in now, but sometimes it's just not working for us. And when we say sometimes, it's really just like all the time. It's not working for us anymore. So, we are moving out of this house, our first home, and we're moving to a house um, next door. <laughs> so, we're going to be neighbors to our old house. I guess he's moving in here. Guess who's moving in here? It's the Coleman's. The Coleman's are moving in to this home gonna be perfect for their kids and their lifestyle because they only have two kids and then uh, they definitely need more space especially obviously with the two kids <laughs> um, did I mention that they have two kids um, but it's gonna be absolutely perfect for them and basically we're switching but they are currently living in a hotel which is very very difficult they are ready to move we are absolutely not ready to move ready to move. We've been very busy with school and work and we have not gotten to start packing any boxes or bags or anything at all. So we're literally moving all in one day. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little rundown of what we're gonna do today and then I will get straight into moving because it's currently 4.30 in the morning. We woke up super early. I had my coffee um, so did Daniel. Um, the kids are still sleeping. I'm gonna let them sleep until 5.30, um, because I just, I, I need their help. They're gonna be packing toys. The kids, when we did move, we originally actually lived in a apartment, which was very cramped before James was born, so we just had the two girls. Um, it was very crazy and really like really difficult to live in just a four room apartment or five I guess we lived in an apartment it was really cramped really tiny so we lived in this we oh my gosh I'm so tired I oh, <laughs> I'm just so excited I, I I'm not making any sense um Just give it the rundown. Oh, basically, we're gonna start by taking the Christmas decorations down. We made a mistake and just kind of forgot about the move for a while, uh, definitely. But then we decided to just decorate because we're like, oh well, maybe it'll like we just completely forgot about the move like I don't know how we did that but we did um, so we're gonna start by taking Christmas decorations down then we're gonna work on getting the like stuff into boxes and bins just this move is gonna be super like easy that's why we're able to do it in a whole day because a we're having help and B, it's just next door. We don't even need to hire a moving truck. It's literally a walkable distance. Um, so yeah, um, what else? We need to kind of just start cleaning. Um, just simply just like put everything in boxes because that is something that we can leave out. This whole weekend, we're just gonna be moving um, it's actually Sunday, which is probably not the best day to move because the kids have school tomorrow. I have work, Daniel has work, and I have to drop off James at daycare. So, yeah. I think this is gonna be great for us. But then we have to move furniture. 
Um, because the Coleman's actually, they don't have a car. We actually share a car because they're over at our house so frequently that we just literally share a car. Um, hopefully we're gonna get a new car or another car so that it's easier for us to transport because yeah, well, uh, Laura works from home, David does not, but David and Daniel, fun fact, they work in the same building. Um, different companies, same building. It's like an office building with a bunch of different, like, companies and, like, places to work, obviously, and then they just work in different places. But it's still really cool, very convenient, actually. Um, our family is very close, so a plan so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the moving because we really need to start it's a problem it's Daniel so basically I'm gonna start over here and just say that I think the last place that we're gonna do is the kitchen uh, because we don't want to have to like move the food around uh, we don't want to leave it in the cooler for so long. We want to make sure that our food doesn't spoil super easily. That would be bad because um, then we would have to go grocery shopping and I, I don't think we're ready to do that quite yet. <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be great. I have fuzz on my jacket or sweater. Um, anyway, so we're actually gonna start with the upstairs. We're gonna start with my room, our room. We're actually gonna be moving it room by room, which I think might be easier, but we're gonna start taking the Christmas decorations down. There's the tree, we have stockings, we have stuff over there. We have it all over the house. So we need to take those down. Guys, so Melina is taking Jane, Savannah, and Olivia over to um, Grandma's house. Um, just cause, you know, I don't want them near the furniture, just in case anything falls. We're really, really um, nervous about that kind of thing. So we have pretty much all of our stuff packed. The garage is the only thing that we really need to look through and see like what we're taking to the new house because the Coleman's are gonna be here and we're gonna give them some of this stuff because not everything's gonna fit in the new house. Um, but we took all the Christmas decorations down and we're packing a lot. The one thing that we haven't really done is like pack the furniture, but that's totally fine just cause, I mean, some of it we can't take out. Like we can't take the toilet with us or anything. Um, but we're getting a very, actually I think we're getting the exact same toilet in our new house. Um, I think it's already there. Um, but the kids stuff is packed. The kids, not the kids. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm really tired. Um, <laughs> so this is the living room. That's where the TV used to be. And then that's where that cube, this cube shelf thing. We're gonna be putting that in our living room. There's a couch, the cover's taken off of that. We're actually getting that dry cleaned because you can do that. I didn't know you could do that. And then we have the lamp and the coffee table, TV. Um, chair, don't know why I forgot what that's called. Our Christmas tree, our Christmas decorations, the rug. Um, here's the patio, we just have chairs stacked and then the grill we took everything off of there we're leaving the grill here just we don't know what we're gonna do we're making this like a blank canvas for the Coleman's so yeah and I'm gonna take you downstairs let me just hold on okay we're heading into the elevator which is hard to fit in It's a really rough ride. Um, James' stroller is going to grandma's, so yeah. But basically, this is what it looks like. Um, we're taking the dining room table. They have their own table. They have furniture, but yep. Everything, I mean, we cleaned out the fridge. Freezer. Um, oh, we forgot about those cookbooks. 
Um, yeah. Oh, and then we have the garage. So we have the piano and the thing. We took those and put them in here because we were decorated for Christmas and then we totally forgot about the move. But you can see that we have a lot of stuff in here. Um, I think we might leave everything in here because we can just come over if we need anything. Um, yeah. So that's kind of what's just going on right now. We're really excited. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done. It was actually really easy and fast. I don't know why we thought it was going to take so long, but we could definitely do this in a whole day because we have people helping. So yeah, that's your update. Guys, so I'm in the new kitchen. Um, it's actually a few days later. Um, we finished the house. We're gonna be doing a house tour soon. We actually just did a Christmas house tour for our old house. And um, the Colvins are moving in just great. Their ho the house looks really, really good. Um, but we are just... We are just hanging in there. It's awesome in this new house. The space is amazing. Um, it's perfect for our family. We have a lot more space, better better places to live and access things, I guess. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you like a little house tour. Here's the kitchen, just a regular kitchen. I love this poster. Um, so cute. We have this one too. We added a our dining room table that was originally in the dining room, and then we just put it in the kitchen. There's Daniel, <laughs> and let's see. We have the garage. Um, here's the stroller. We have a place to put that now. Um, we have a little barbecue because we don't have a patio anymore, which was something that I was glad to not have anymore another space to just pile up clutter and things um found all the kids toys like in places i didn't know that they put them then we have our cooler and then um the car obviously and that's pretty much it for the garage it's very simple the living room the bathroom which is a really good size actually fits perfectly the kiddos room just all of their toys and all their things much better. It's pretty much the same size as their old room. So, yeah. And then we just have the master bathroom. I keep saying bathroom. I filmed this like three times. Bedroom. Um, the bed, nightstand, and the little plant man too. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> I am so tired, I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day. So yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog, bye.